Hi everybody, this is Nir from Novisign and today I'm going to show you the reports module for partners. Alright, first thing you have to do, you have to log into reports.onsignage.com then you get a login screen, let's log in. And surprise, surprise, I'm inside. Okay, when I get inside, what I see here, this is uh, the player monitor. I can see all my players, all the users which I manage. Now I have to mention that logging into the reports model, this should be uh, done by the managing user. If I like to see all the users which are uh, being uh, managed by me. So first of all, let's let's understand what we see here. In the left column, I can see the status of uh, each uh, player. I can see one of four different colors, which are green. That means uh, this player uh, has pinged in the last three hours. I can see yellow. That means three to eight hours since last ping. I can see a red color, which means 8 to 24 hours since last ping, and black, which means that there's no sign of life in the last 24 hours. So this is what I see here in the left status column. Now I also have the user column, which I can click here, and I can sort it, ascending or descending. I can also sort it by the player name, up and down, last playlist name, also by the last update, date and time, and of course by the status. Now here in the right uh, top corner I have this CSV button. Clicking this button will export all this table to a CSV file. Another important thing to mention here are those three buttons here, the all, mine and filter. If I press the mine button, I will see only the players which are uh, which belong to uh, my username, the managing user. If I press the all button, it will show me all the users which are under this account. And if I'd like to filter, I can press this button and start typing a username, for example this one, the autocomplete will show me all the possibilities, I can click it and abracadabra, here I see, I see the user's records. So I can click any line which I have a player, for example this one, if I click it here, I'm gonna get the next page. This page will show me all the communication between this player and the server, I can see the activity date and I can see the IP address from which that uh, player has been pinging. And also here I have the CSV button for exporting. Let's go back to the player monitor. Now, next thing I'm going to show you is the player's availability report. Let's click it. Now, basically, this is a history report. This will show me everything in the history. That means not from the 24, I mean from the last 24 hours. If I'd like to see what happened in the last 24 hours, that's why this is why I have the player monitor, which is more live data. So here I can filter from date. Let's take, for example, from the April 1st, and let's take till April 10th. Now let's press the generate report. And here I get a report of what happened to this user in uh, this time range. Okay, what I see here, um, I see the user, the player name, also can be sorted up and down, ascending, descending, the availability by percentage, the expected hours, which is the same for all of them, and the active hours, which means how many hours during that time range it was active. Okay, also here I have the, those buttons, the all mine and filter. Let's press the all button and this will show me a report of all the players in that time range. 
and the mine button will show me my username in that time range. Well, that's it. Let's go back to the player monitor. And this is in, a, in this opportunity, I'd like to mention three new features which we're going to have in this uh, reports module. First one is the preview button, which will show you the preview of the running playlist. The second one, it's uh, the player name. That means not the, the, the player in the web editor, but the real machine's name. And that's it for now. Signing out.